According to the Foreign Affairs Minister, Nigeria is witnessing huge investments under the Tinubu administration. And in Lagos, the Commissioner of Budget Planning has said that the bulletproof SUV we bought is not for the Chief of Staff, but for his office, says Okwe George. Well, of course, we're going to have Of the Press, where we look at headlines from our national dailies. And we hope that it's going to be a bumper harvest for you if you stay on till the end. My name is Nyamgul Agaji, welcoming you to The Breakfast on Thursday morning. My name is Rume Paulson. Good morning. Okay, uh, today is a very, very um, interesting day. You know, every day is a very interesting day. Like they say in scripture, the Lord created everything and he saw that it was good, which means every day is good. It's just your ability to tap into the goodness of the day uh, that makes the difference. We hope that you're positioned enough to tap into this goodness and at the end of the day, testimonies will be told about Amen whatever to <laughs> <laughs> I, I, i'm being you know <laughs> okay so we'll move immediately to the top trending issues by the way we sincerely apologize for beginning a little bit late now the Lagos state governor babajide songwolu has said no administration is immune to mistakes the governor said this while reacting to the outrage from nigerians after the procurement record released by the Lagos state public procurement agency showed some outrageous amounts um, were allocated for some items in the state budget. The governorship candidate of the Action Democratic Congress ADC in Lagos, Funsho Doherty, had written an open letter to the state government asking why such amounts of money were allocated. The state procurement records showed the governor approved uh, 7.5 million naira to replace liquid fragrance in his office and 3, point, or 3 billion to purchase rechargeable fans for the office of his deputy, Obafemi Hamzat. Other contracts awarded by the state's public procurement agency, uh, PPA, in the second and third quarters of 2023 had included approval of over 440 million naira for the purchase of a new Lexus LX600 bulletproof sport utility vehicle uh, for use in the pool of the office of the chief of staff. The office of the chief of staff also got 18.5 million naira for the supply and distribution of 2,000 Neola chickens across local government areas and wards in the state. The governor in a statement by his spokesman, Boyega Koshile, noted that the controversy was unnecessary, stressing that the state had nothing to hide in its public expenditure. Officers in the Lagos state or in Lagos state have come out to show that there could be mistakes on some lines of items. So Olu said Lagos had maintained open books for checks and balances, pointing out that the state had judiciously appropriated funds for projects and services that benefit the residents. He assured that his government will continue to publish its spending and keep it open for public scrutiny. It's a good thing that they are being open about it. And um, <laughs> sometimes I, 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 I laugh. I don't know how. I always say this. I don't know how people in government think. I don't know the thought process that they have. Maybe it's different from what we have. And I don't know why uh, some things are that uh, having that kind of scary amount, <laughs> that's what I was saying, to buy fragrance and uh, to buy rechargeable funds for an office that has been in existence uh, for a long time. And I'm sure in the last budget, it was there. The budget before you know, last, they have to there. renew the yeah, every yeah, year. Every year. Where do the old get... ones go to? Um, they give it out for charity. Oh, <laughs> just like the chickens. You know, yeah, and way. you know the chickens, they'll have to slaughter them. Mm. When they've eaten them, they need something else in the tummy. So. Ah, Rume, you're bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have to make excuses for them. Yeah. So Okay, very I, good. I, I guess that's it. Um, I think something that triggered me was the fact that I said the controversy was unnecessary. unnecessary. That kind of triggered me a little bit. Yeah. And I'm like, it's taxpayers' money. And how can, how can you, just like Bade Borot Vivo said, um, the, um, the governorship candidate of the Labour Party, he said he was trying to give a graphic um, account of how you can make that kind of a mistake. Two billion for something that they said should have been two million. Two mm. million has six zeros, for crying out loud. Yeah. Two billion. How do you even make that as, as type of mistake? It, it's, it's, it's very, it's crazy. And if, if, even if we're talking about the rechargeable funds, if we're talking about one amount, that's different. 
there's a lot of things, like lots of items mm -hmm. that are just exorbitant. So mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you reconcile that? I mean, I'm not very good at accounting, but how do you reconcile <laughs> that? <laughs> anyway, we'll be talking more about that on our first hot topic, or second hot topic this uh, morning. We'll be looking at uh, the fact that uh, the Lagos State government is um, uh, denying some of these things and saying that they are mistakes. Uh, only God knows how many mistakes they have done over the years and then went through with it mm. because they wouldn't come back to, say, to tell us that ah, this was a mistake. So they just went ahead because that money was approved. Somebody must have signed yes, it signed with the mistake it. inside. So. Mm. Okay, let's move over to our next top trending story. The federal government slashes wage by wages by 100 billion. Labor kicks. Um, Labor unions on Wednesday lambasted the federal government for slashing the supplementary budget allocation for wage awards to federal civil servants by 100 billion naira, warning that this was not the agreement they had with the government. Data obtained from the newly revised 2023 supplementary budget indicated that the government swapped the controversial 5 billion naira presidential yacht votes for Navy barges, increased the budget for defense from 476.54 billion to, to 546.21 billion naira, and earmarked 20 billion naira as capital supplementation for the National Intelligence Agency. The recently approved 2.1 trillion Naira 2023 supplementary budget was marred with controversy following the discovery of seemingly extravagant items, forcing an amendment by the National Assembly. In the proposed document, the four-month wage award was to cost the federal government around 210 billion Naira. However, the approved and newly revised document showed that it would now cost the federal government about 110 billion Naira. Also in the revised budget, the Ministry of Defense budget rose from 476.54 billion to 546.21 billion naira, indicating an additional allocation of 69.67 billion naira. Under the ministry, the Nigerian Navy, which was earlier caught up in the controversial 5.095 billion naira for the purchase of a presidential, presidential yacht, got an additional 25 billion naira to its total allocation. Its total allocation rose from 62.8 billion naira in the proposed supplementary budget to 87.8 billion naira in the, in the approved document. That's a lot of billions. <laughs> yeah, a lot of billions. And then uh, I'm just looking at it and like, why does it have to be that the money to be slashed from the budget after the outcry has to be the one that will come to the people? Mm. Even the Navy that should be uh, facing some uh, uh, prosecution right now because mm -hmm. of what they did, procuring something that had no legislative backing, is having a 25 uh, billion naira raise. Increase. Yes. And uh, the Ministry of Defense entirely is having uh, an increase of uh, almost 100 billion, okay, let's say 70 billion mm -hmm. uh, increase uh, for them. The swapping of these 5 billion for the yacht, the House of Representatives said it was not going to sign that. They, mm -hmm. It was not going to approve that. And they said it should go to education. Yes. So what happened to education? Which means education at the Is end of the, the day didn't now? get the mm -hmm. five billion that was supposed to go to them. Instead, they were raising uh, monies that will go to the Minister of Defense and all that. And we've heard over the years how monies uh, voted for defense have been used mm. by these people. A lot of them in the past administration, we had um, chief of army staff and so many other chiefs in the, in the defense ministry that did so many outrageous things that we felt they could have been in jail. Instead, when they were removed, they were given ambassadorial mm -hmm. appointments. They're working freely. So I, I don't know, it, not only that they were working free, but they were given ambassadorial appointments in other countries to represent us people who we felt should be in court and then in jail if they are found guilty, guilty anyway. Guilty, yes. But nothing like that happened. Well? I think for me, one thing I've always said is <clears throat> people before processes, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's how it should be. You should look at your human capital. These are people who are working, right? They need the daily wage. They need the if food on the table. Yes. That's what they need their food on the table. How do you slash that? 
and you know start buying other items that are not necessary because you need to look at the scale of preference do we really need this can we still function without all of this but guess what the people who are working for you mm -hmm. if they don't eat they don't have the strength to work very well and how many people will have so much to eat and then still go into crime Mm. Some of these people go into crime because they need to make ends meet. Yes. And then you're now... I mean, I'm not... We're not... Um, you're not, not justifying we're not justifying, the justifying that is, yes. Yeah, but, and then you're further uh, oppressing them, let me mm -hmm. use the word oppressing them, by your lifestyle, the very person that is supposed to make them uh, feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. You're asking me to tighten my belt, and then you're loosening yours mm. <laughs> and taking more. Okay, so see now the Lagos state government is purchasing... A, an SUV 400, for 100. the office of the chief of staff. Is it chief so of staff another, or head thing, of an, another thing um, we didn't even add was 440. What 440? However, they said it's for dignitaries. So when dignitaries come into Lagos State, mm -hmm. they have to use that vehicle. And I'm like, the dignitaries that are coming, they don't have vehicles. How did they come? I'm mm -hmm. sure they flew to Lagos. No, no, it's, 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 um, it's bulletproof because Lagos people. They so there's shoot no people on other. The how many? We've not really seen those high rates of crime, and we didn't even pray to see that. An SUV but is a small vehicle it's compared to, you know, is it an SUV bus? Do we have SUV bus? Because dignitaries, how many of them can fit into an SUV? And I'm sure there are other ones. Is it necessary? I think if we need to purchase something, it's just like in your home. There are some things you'll be like, um, do, I, do I really need this AC to be cooling as much? Mm -hmm. I can allow it cool and then maybe turn it off at some point. Mm -hmm. You know, you're trying to manage the budget. Yeah. You can't just carry 440 million naira to buy an SUV. Just the same way you can't be saying, oh, we want to buy a yacht mm -hmm. and, put other, and put other things in place that you know that, that they are not really necessary. However, the common man in Nigeria cannot afford three square mil. 440 so, million naira. It, it's crazy. Uh, well, but maybe because we've not been in the corridors where we get to see this kind of money. Mm. But... I've at not this seen time, I've not, I can promise you, I've not seen that. <laughs> at of this money. time of my life, I'm not talking about anybody else of my life, 440 million is very, very high. And if you ask me, unnecessary. 440 yes. million out of a budget of a state owing so much money. We, we, yes, we are the fifth uh, greatest economy, or the sixth greatest economy, or biggest economy in Africa. Yes, but how does that translate to the people enjoying their lives in Lagos State? Mm. Because uh, if you ask me, everybody is, is as wealthy as he is happy. Mm. So if you have billions upon billions and you're not happy, then you are not wealthy at all. You are not. The person who has maybe 100,000 and is happier than you mm -hmm. is wealthier than you. That's yes, my, yes. That's my Wealth take is road. not about money. I think it's a, it's a state of mind, really. It's about how much satisfaction yes. that wealth can give yes, you. So Lagos State is a wealthy state. It's the largest economy in, uh, in Nigeria and all that. But how many people are really so happy? So this is even my thought. Like... Nigeria is for all of us, as you know, we like to say, it's for mm -hmm. everyone. We're all Nigerians. Why can't everybody have the same money from Nigeria? Mm -hmm. Why do some people have to have like all of the money so it's floating just up? It never trickles down. One percent. So yes, it's just floating right there. And the other people are really poor. They cannot afford healthcare, food. There's no good infrastructure. Um, there's no good education. All of these things, why can't we say, you know what, I want to, even if I have all of the money or if I have the access, because mm -hmm. most of the time it's not their money. Mm -hmm. They just have the access to the money. So if you have the access, you can say, okay, since I have the access to this money, fine, let's make sure that everyone in Nigeria is doing well and everyone can afford, you know, the basic necessities of life. Why can we not do that? And this thing is just, like you said, a mindset and it is doable. I, I give you an example. When they were doing primaries, uh, there was um, a delegate, because that was the reigning yeah. thing then, there was a delegate somewhere up north that said, if I succeed to become the delegate and I'm, I'm in that place and any money that I make, I'll come back and share it with my constituents. Mm -hmm. And he did. The, the end money in dollars That's at that time, and he go. came back home to his community and shared the money. You know, maybe that's not what I would do. I'll put it into some kind of fund, maybe some scholarships or mm -hmm. one thing or the other. But he made good of his promise. Yes. 
And he didn't think about himself. He shared the money. He knew people in his community that needed this money. It even and makes you happy knowing that everyone around you is happy, flourishing. Because I don't know how I would stay and I'm seeing other people beg, literally beg for food. Mm. And I'm not doing anything about it. I'm like, yes. No, it makes them feel good. You know, I'm because the only I'm, cop I'm, I'm, that I'm, I'm, Yes, you know, in the village of the, <laughs> of the blind man, the one-eyed man is the king. Yeah, he is the one-eyed man. In yeah. fact, he has four eyes. Well, <laughs> I mean, the it. money is lost. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are on to the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We'll take a short break and we'll be joined by, in fact, he's um, uh, on standby, Ezekiel Nyaitok, architect Ezekiel Nyaitok, will be joining us to uh, x-ray the headlines on our national daily. Stay with us. <laughs> 